I'm Brooke Cabrera. I grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut, went to Greenwich High. My recruiting story is kind of interesting because I didn't really understand the whole dynamic of really getting yourself out there and reaching out and spreading the word about yourself. After talking to Maryland, I was also recruited by the University of North Carolina, a little bit of Virginia here and there, and I ended up at the right place. It's pretty much the simple story. I showed up at campus, I shook my coach's hand, and I knew that's where I, meant to be, I was meant to be. It's, a, it's called Futures Developmental Program, basically, for anyone that has a field hockey passion and wants to develop outside of their high school or club team. And if you get selected, you can go to the qualifying um, rounds, either held in Virginia Beach or Chula Vista, California, which was the former Olympic Training Center. And you get to go to those tournaments, college coaches go and they recruit you. So it's great for visibility if you're not already in conversations with coaches, because if they see you, they see your number, they can reach out to you or, you know, based upon what the NCAA rules are, you go from there. But um, you know, other than doing your research, looking at the schools you want to go to, and physically reaching out to the coaches, futures and, you know, club team championships and games like that were great for, um, for visibility with coaches. Personally advocate. I mean, like I said, if you don't um, make yourself known to the world and get on people's radar, they don't know to either recruit you or, you know, know that you're interested in them. So it's kind of... Um, I don't know how else to describe it. You just have to be really outgoing and take the initiative to do that college search, decide where you want to look, and then reach out to the coaches. But again, I'll say it time and time again, you, you don't want to marry the coach. You want to make sure that you are happy at that school with or without your sport. I mean, I committed, verbally committed the night I had my overnight visit. I got to stay with the girls and I got to experience what life was like as a student athlete even though it was a small little piece. So basically you agree to go on an unofficial or an official visit and you get an itinerary. You have a host which is typically one of the freshmen on the team. You follow them to classes, they take you all around, they give you a bit of a tour and you stay there overnight with them whether it's in a bed or a blow up or on the couch. and. I just had so much fun on that visit and it, it was a blast. I don't know how else to explain it. You kind of, it's kind of like a crash course on what life is like at that school and whether or not you mesh well with the people in the environment. It's so cool, unbelievable. My freshman year, we had a near perfect season. We only lost one game to Princeton in regular season and we won the ACC championship and the national championship and just unbelievable. I, the NCAA championship was held at my home field, right in College Park, and we broke a record for attendance, and it was standing room only, and it was just such a surreal moment. I can't even begin to describe the feeling. But if it, the lessons I learned, whether it was persevering through my injury or dealing with a busy schedule or any of that, anything of that nature, it teaches you so much and it, you bring it with you throughout your life, whether you bring it into your job or your family or, I, I can't really say enough or talk enough to how important the values and life lessons you learn are. But I wasn't exposed to the process of recruitment and what was expected and what you should do and I wish I had had something like locker room talk really to honestly get the word out and understand what's going on. I mean, I would go to tons of field hockey camps over the summer and we'd have little seminars on recruiting and those are informative, but if you have something that's going to spell it out for you and you know what you really need to do to accomplish that and to understand the whole process, it's so valuable. And I think what Kirsten and everyone at Locker Room Talks is doing to spread the word and help ad advocate and educate high school students on the recruitment process is incredible because if I had had that, I would have done it a little bit differently. I really, truly feel like I just lucked out. I mean, I hate to, this is just such a, an easy answer, and I guess it might be corny, but my team and my coaches. Every pregame, we had our sound system, you know, playing Fear the Turtle. It was this remix by AJ Francis on the football team. It's hysterical. It's a remix from um, Black and Yellow, but it's Fear the Turtle, Fear the Turtle. <laughs> so 
pregame pump ups were just so much fun. We blasted the music. We would mess with the lights and get so into it and so ready for the games. And the coaches would come in, and it was just a party. And regardless of pregame or practice or just hanging out, or that was my home. And I, I mean, it sounds so corny, but if I had to pick people to spend time with in that locker room, it would be, you know, my teammates from freshman to senior year, and my coaches included. It just they're my family.